What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Skylight Unlimited. I am Jesse. Uh, I am standing in a field once again, uh, so it must be time for another kite bag tour. But today's a little different because we're actually going to tour a kite bag and not the kites in the bag. Um, I got a new kite bag. Um, so uh, I, I decided that while I love my um, Beach Fabric Works bag, uh, it was a little big to travel with, and I wanted to sort of set it up as the repository of all the things that have a main bag with my core set of things for when I travel to events uh, and things like that. And coincidentally, as I was looking for that, a new bag came out on the market from uh, Prism Kite Technologies. Um, Prism uh, is pretty well known for all the wonderful uh, Kites of the Years, the Eclipse series, the Quantum Pro, the Micron, the Neutrino, uh, most recently the Synthesis, uh, which was a really cool uh, special edition kite, um, like six colorways, five of each, uh, and, and lotteried off to get your opportunity to buy one. Very, very cool. Um, so a new kite bag came out, and I wanted to share it uh, because I got one. And... Uh, so I don't usually do like gear reviews and stuff, but today we're diving in. Uh, so we're going to dive right in to the new Prism Kite Technologies kite bag. So here we are all packed up. So you can see right here uh, all rolled up, uh, but in its extended form. So I first uh, came across this bag at Kite Party in March of this year. Uh, Mark Reed had uh, a prototype of it with him, and he was sort of... Not really talking about it, but it was pretty obvious that it must be something coming to market if the market had it with them. And one of the things that caught my eye was, you see this sort of lighter gray panel, where he had his collapsed all the way down. Uh, and I was like, that's really cool. That's an awesome way to travel. Um, so when the kite bag came out and uh, we got some more details on it, uh, I dove right on the opportunity. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up, and you'll see that it's got a very unique structure for a roll-up bag. Um, so there we are. So one of the things I really like about it um, is this uh, sort of base ground cloth here that can actually be separated from the bag that I haven't done it yet um, with a couple of stiffeners that sort of both protect the kites and keep the bag open. Um, these great mesh pockets, line organizers, and then a larger pocket here for spares. I have an extra line set in it. Um, really nice quilted reinforced. Um, super awesome there. And then we've got the mesh pockets down here. Um, it's got sleeves for a bunch of kites. I think they officially say it'll fit. Uh, I actually don't know how many they officially say, but I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve in here right now. Um, the uh, the mesh is great. It's a nice fine mesh. It should be really durable. I like that they put these reinforcers on the ends and on the bottoms of the pockets as well. Um, so far, because the pockets are fully mesh, I've really not trapped any sand in there, which is great. Um, yeah, uh, it's been it's been fun. Um, you can see the velcro here, so that's gonna fold those mesh pockets in half. So if you're traveling, break all your leading edges down, put it all in here, it's gonna travel at half length. And uh, I actually think this bag would probably uh, get small enough to pass as a carry-on even, which I'm, I'm super excited about trying that. Um, Really, uh, really great bag, solidly made, nice management, the uh, shoulder strap and carry handle are wonderful, really well placed, really well balanced. The shoulder strap in particular is really nice because it's got a nice big shoulder pad that's got some uh, ergonomic shape to it. If I could lodge maybe one complaint, in full length configuration, I would have liked the bag to be about four inches longer. Um, you can see I have my level 1 111s in here, and uh, the bags, the, the kites end right at the edge, edge of the bag. It's kind of okay, but it would have been, uh, been nice if those were like fully encased in the bag. Um, I, I, I suspect that, like an old prophecy, if you're a prism, oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna make the pun, if you're a prism fanatic. Um, <laughs> And, and you're, you're cutting around a prophecy, so that kite might have a hard time um, fitting in here or, uh, or a total eclipse um, for sure. So it would have been nice if the bag was just, just a tiny bit longer, but I'm sure, knowing Mark and the folks at Prism, it was made at this size for a very, very specific reason. Uh, 
but overall, great bag. If you're looking for a new kite bag, I highly recommend it. Um, I've been using it now for a couple of weeks, and I've been really enjoying uh, enjoying it and enjoying working out of it. Uh, so definitely jump on Prism or find your local Prism dealer and get a hold of one and uh, have fun out there. And we will see you out there, Skyrider.